Hello and welcome to Citrix Secure Private Access. Secure Private Access delivers adaptive, context-aware, zero-trust access to any IT-managed application, whether on-prem or in the cloud. Today, we'll walk through how to set up your Secure Private Access service. To start, you'll need to create a Citrix Cloud account. Go to onboarding.cloud.com and follow the steps to create your Citrix Cloud account. If you have an existing Citrix Cloud account, simply sign in with your username and password, then select your home region. After you've created and signed in to your Citrix Cloud account, next you'll need to request Secure Private Access Service. To do this, navigate to the Available Services section of the Citrix Cloud screen. Go to the Secure Private Access Service tile. Click the Request Demo tab and then fill out the form. Once you've received your Secure Private Access service entitlement, the Secure Private Access service tile will move to the My Services section from where you can manage the SPA service. Click the Manage tab to access the service UI. This opens an overview screen explaining your available services. Click Continue on the overview screen to set up your first application. Step 1. Setting up Identity and Authentication First step is to set up the authentication method that your app subscribers will use to sign into the Citrix Workspace app. Here, you can select from the various options shown, or you can use Adaptive Authentication. This option enables you to scan endpoints for device posture. This type of check can be used to set up contextual policies to allow or deny access to an application. Step 2. Add and configure applications. Once you are done configuring the authentication method, the next step is to configure your first app. To configure the app, follow the app configuration process flow. You need to provide information about the types of apps you are configuring, app URLs and its related domains, SSO method, and app connectivity configurations. Step 3. Create Access Policies Once you have configured the app, the next step is to configure the contextual access policy for that application. The admin can configure the policy as per their context requirements to either allow, allow with restrictions, or deny access to the user. The context can be set for multiple applications under a single policy. It can depend upon geolocation, device posture, user risk score, network location or other factors. Admins can also choose to allow access with restrictions such as restricting downloads, uploads, clipboard access, printing access, key logging and screen capture. And finally, step 4. Reviewing a summary of each configuration. Once you have configured your access policies, the next page will give a review summary of your configurations. Once reviewed, simply click Close. Congratulations! You've successfully set up and configured your Citrix Secure Private Access service. For more detailed information, be sure to check the resource links with this video.